are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. This is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. Make some noise for the madman and say. Kwao Zigizi. In the building. Yeah, man. The yeah, building. man. The rich man in the building, yo. The rich man in the building, yo. Proper, proper rich man. Oh. Big rich man. Allah, Allah. I see. I see what's happening to Scow. The catchers, they are with the cash money. Kwao in the building. Allah. Chale, it's been a minute, man. Yeah, it's been a minute. Bro, yeah, bro. I see you, Chale. I see you, I did, I did, Yeah. yeah. Ah, but wait, wait. Do you, do you even live in Ghana? I live everywhere. <laughs> a little bit. Right. 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 In a missing week. No, no, no. no. When was last time you see Kwao around? For town. Kwa, even in social media, Kwao no data. Kwao no say no data. <laughs> in social media, no data. He himself no say no data. If you today will come, maybe you say, God, will you come? Akwa Aba. Charlie, wait, 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 wait. T- how many, how many freaking years in this game, man? Like over twenty years. Yeah. Charlie, that's that's serious. Why be? Why be? Yeah. Over twenty years. Kwa, what have you been up to? It's been a minute. Uh, yeah, Charlie, been working, working, working. You know, yeah. trying to make things happen. No, but there was a brief pause. Yeah. What? 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 Yeah, I went on hibernation. Small. <laughs> You see, oh, Charlie. Um, I think say now, nah, you know, the the again <laughs> was it was too much. You know, it was too heat up. So I yeah. had to, you know, hibernate and try to cool things down and come back strong. Artists sometimes talk about that. You know, yeah. that they, they 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 take a break. Um, but did yours got to do with family? Did it got to do with personal? Is was it? Um, it was everything. Um, mm. you know, um, I I I hardly say this, but. For for so, for like ten years, I've I've been depressed. Oh and wow! When my my manager was murdered, oh yeah, it, 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 it dawned on me. So for ten, is, this is the tenth year, mm-hmm. and um, I said to myself that hey, it's been ten years. I have to let things go. You oh. know, I have to come back strong. You know, all the messages I receive in my in my email, the DMs, people mm-hmm. saying, Kwa, we miss you, Kwa, when are you dropping bangers? Mm-hmm. Uh, and the people who are saying, your time passed, your time, you trip me out there. You happen. know, all these things, you know, I see, but it's like I had something heavy on me. Uh, I decided to let it go this year and come back strong. So that's, that is part of it. Oh, know, how family is, is also yeah. part of it. And all that. I I I hate to I hate to t- touch that spot, but Fennec was Fennec had, like was was brother to everyone, you know. How have you dealt with this? You know, like you say, ten years. For a lot of people, we sit and say, oh, cha 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 cha, old old story and stuff. But how do you deal with this? Because this is this is like your brother. Yeah. You know that's what I'm saying. I was I've, I've been depressed for ten years. Not it's being this able to year accept. that I you know. I've, I can feel from my heart, from within, that I'm strong again. But I was not, I was never strong from through that ten years. You know, uh, this year my resolution was, um, yo, you have to make your brother pr- uh, proud. What I said, do things that will bring you on, you know, back to where you guys were when he was around. Mm, mm. So this year is a lot of work for me. Mm. You know, uh, it's a challenge. To, 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 to come out stronger than before. Do you um, um, do you still seek justice? Um, it's hard to seek justice in Ghana. You know, all these things happened, and I I also became a victim. Even though I was seeking justice for my manager and all that, I became a victim rather to uh, to the system when I was also jailed for. You know, something that you know that didn't make sense to me, you know. So, how did, did any did anyone speak to you? Be it psychiatrist, be it counselor, be it did anybody think about the the state of mind that you were in to, you know, approach that? No, 
um, maybe we are all looking at this very wrongly. Uh, we are all not considering the emotions of the person who's also been, uh, who's fallen victim to, you know, the loss of a best friend and then, and all these things. Did anybody come at you? No, nah, nobody way? did. You know, we, you know, in Ghana, um, there's this um, conception that um, when you, 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 you you let out your grievances or you 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 bring your you tell your problems you become a laughing stock you know instead of people go you know sympathizing with you and knowing what really is wrong with you mm -hmm. they will rather turn you into a, into something that they will mock you about mm -hmm. they will laugh at you and all that so m more people don't come out when they are going through stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i would say i'm a strong man you yeah. know i'm i'm a very strong person so I try to deal it, deal everything with myself, mm. and um, it's it's part of the reason why I used to travel a lot, mm. because when I'm not in the country, I, I try to stay off social media and all that. Yeah, sometimes and we see you go blind on social, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know, it's it's part of the healing, and the, I think that has helped me a lot. Wow. Um, yeah. There's Lenny. a thing I say that mm -hmm. is so difficult to get over loss of any kind. Regardless, I mean, we'll come to the the, the brand new banger. Yeah. 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 Regardless <laughs> we'll come of to it. how long you know it yeah. takes, especially if you had a certain type of relationship with a person, right? It's always really, really hard to get over that. In the ten years since you lost um, your manager, um, what would you say that you've done to make sure that you are at this point you are at now? Because the grief, the depression, going through all of the mm -hmm, emotions mm -hmm. they are never easy yeah. but right you've come to a resolution where you're saying that this year you want to make him proud what are some of the emotions that you went through how was how has the roller coaster mm -hmm. been like um some of the emotions i'm um, seeing my colleagues mountain stages while i'm you know i'm i'm not on that stage mm -hmm. you know i see that and i go like yo have to it's like out. i'm losing myself mm -hmm. you know so that's why I keep saying I've been through a lot. Wow. That, um, you know, I couldn't just come out and tell people what I was going through because I felt like this is what happens when you tell your problems in Ghana. But I tried to deal with it um, the hard way, you know, and always prayed for, 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 for better. And I think that's, that's, that's how come I made that resolution that this year, you know, I'm not going to grieve anymore. Mm. I, I'm going to let things go and jump back to what I know I know I do best and give back to, 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 to society and give back to my fans what they miss from me. Yeah. I mean, you came hard, really hard with this banger. Yeah. Uh, crazy. <laughs> the jam, the jam I, 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 I heard it, I heard it uh, first yesterday. Uh, just a piece of it but i said let me just allow myself to to watch it again when we come on air this morning and i tell you what the bang guys well, we're going to come to it we're going to have a road conversation to this um you know particular release but let me just take you back again to a bit of um you know the the, the downsides when when you when you were taken when the incident happened with regards to um you know being taken to jail and all did, uh, did was were there suicidal thoughts? Was there any point in time where you felt like you're not coming back to the music, or you know, let me relocate? This country is not, you know. Did you have such thoughts running through yeah, your mind? Yeah, I had. I had, um, I had suicidal thoughts at a point, you know, when that was after I was jailed. You know, when I when I got released from jail, I traveled back to the states, mm. and um. I said, no, I'm not coming back to Ghana again because Ghana don't cherish me, you know, for all these things mm. I've done, you know, people, they, you know, they put me through all that. And it was the same year that my manager was murdered. So <laughs> imagine going through that the same year. And right after that, um, after the jail thing, uh, my Obroni wife also divorced me, Ooh. you know, so within a year, I was hit with about three blows. Wow. You know, so I was going through it. And, um, but that's why I keep saying I'm a strong person. You know, I always make comparison with people. It's like I see people who have done great mm -hmm. and are tapping into, into their blessings. I see people who have gone through what I have gone through and they were strong. So I ask myself, how do these people keep going? And, you know, through that, I keep myself strong. But yeah, I had thoughts like that. But who, you know, 
who were your so who or what was your support system like mm -hmm. those around you who you would talk was it was it family did you put it in art is there two three albums that we will never hear of you expressing yourself <laughs> you know i mean no, how, how is, did you go through it hard. having the thoughts is i mean i, I don't even know here about what yeah I mean. so um i would say my family played in an important role you know my wife you know my my kids uh, they were the ones putting smiles on my face. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Throw me off. My wow. Wow. I I I, I, I kind of feel like we, yes, like a bit of unfairness from you know when you don't know what the person is going through and people sit back and would judge, mm. you know, and think that oh this person not releasing music because maybe he feels irrelevant or he feels his shine is you know going but. What, what the question that we ask ourselves what what do we do because the game is music and his creativity is thinking mm -hmm. a lot of and if your mind is busy if your mind is busy you know sitting in the studio yeah, to, yeah, to, to 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 create to, did you matter. try to sit in the studio to create anything yeah i tried to create stuff you know <laughs> I, I have done some songs that never came out mm. you know so um you know the i have an album coming out okay okay i've been working on the album for like three years now wow so it's been work. We record songs, then I forget about it. Then we will come back to it, and I, will, you know, it's back and forth. But this year, um, my producer and also my, you know, road manager Sconti, he he said, "Yo, this is our year. We have to go hard." So we decided to, you know, spend more time in the studio mm -hmm. um, late last year trying to put stuff together and come back hard. And, you know, Sconti has played an important role in all yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the relationship between you and Sconti. It's been, it's been ongoing for, like, forever. You yeah. know, you've been, you've been working with Sconti. I mean, after Hammer, I know you've done other productions, but you've been working with Sconti for a very... What's with the two of you? Like, <laughs> what do you find in his, his style of work, and what does he see in you as well? I think we, we, we kind of have the same kind of mentality, you know. Mm -hmm. I, we are kind of identical. People even think yeah. we, are, we, are, we are family. People think he's my brother. Yeah. You know, not doing him, not doing your pet. What I say in a way, we, you know. So that's the that's the link up. Oh, there is um there is a surge in Afrobeats music. Yeah, you've still stuck to the hip hop game. Yeah, uh, you know, being true to it as well. Um, do you sometimes find yourself wanting to drop something Afrobeats or because you've kept, you've kept hard to the hip hop. Um. You know, one thing is I don't follow trends. Mm -hmm. I create trends. Mm. Yeah. And you can tell from the last time I came out hard was um, Mami, Bodondo, Papesa. Mm. Yeah. You know, it was so hard. Mm -hmm. And um, that was the time I wanted to come back real hard. Then mm -hmm. COVID set in. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I had to go back to young kid to hustle and all that. I, it was a trend. Uh -huh. Dundo was, was, was a jam, you know. And that was the time that Afrobeat had taken off. Everybody was jumping on Afrobeat. I decided to come out my own way. This year, there's, I'm a piano and all this going on. Yeah, so how, how, do, you, how do you find <laughs> yourself, you know, do you, do you want to play in that space, drop, I'm a piano One, one thing is, or? any beat I fall on, it's... it's it's a bang. It's because you and Sconti are known for true hard hip hop. Yeah, yeah. When I fall on, yeah. it, like if I fall on, uh, I'm a piano right now. It's gonna cause a different pro a different problem. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. But um, first, I wanted to give my fans what I'm known for. Yeah. yeah. The, the you, the you, the yeah, the kwakese, you know, yeah. the madness. And yo, I can tell that this song has brought the madness back. I see people going crazy, like yeah. the videos I'm seeing on TikTok right now, yo. That's yeah, the people one. were really looking forward to this Kwakesi, mm. and uh, I think I'm glad I gave um, it to them. How, okay, go ahead. How, how does that taking the weight of managing to carry Wait, all was this? Was that Kofi Mule on there? Yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah. So, okay, finish up. Man, managing yeah. to carry all this weight for so long and finally putting it, taking it off and beginning to receive the fan love and the, 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 the you again. What What's it like? You know, we always talk about the bad stuff. How is he suffering? How is he suffering? I want to know what it's like. Yo, it's a, it's amazing, you know. It's amazing that I I drop a song in two days. The song is two days, and it's everywhere. You see, it's a feeling. I feel like yo, 
this is the Kwakesi yeah. that you know I, I was before. I'm I'm that Kwakesi now. Mm. And you know it's not gonna stop. I wonder where you get your terminologies <laughs> from and, <laughs> the, and the terms of the things. I'm uh, from Swedro. <laughs> <laughs> you will have that. I'm from <laughs> but, um, I mean, yeah. your fans miss you, yeah. right? But yes. do you miss you? Yeah, I miss me. I miss me a lot. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I miss me when you know, seeing thousands of people going crazy. Just I'm I'm on stage and people go crazy without even saying anything in the mic. Right. That is the me that I miss. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That is. What I I, I, I remember on some stages when Kwa just stands there and the crowd is just going crazy, just waiting. Just <laughs> he doesn't have me to say anything, you know. And um and bangers like him, Adam. Uh, that the, that feature um, um, or nonsense like you know for the popping, yeah, for the, popping, yeah. Uh, and the one young me play the beat uh, yeah. yeah 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 for the pop yeah you feel for it while we're in yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. you know yeah, or Nayata Nayata yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know yeah there is there, there are those moments when like when the crowd just goes crazy back to back. Um, are you in any way concerned in release of your new music, cons considering the the heights with which some of the old songs, um, you know, are still very hot and trending when you jump on stage? Are you in any way con are you in any way worried when you're dropping new music and what the fans are expecting, what the fans think, um, will it reflect the true Kwakesi that we know and all such like that? Does it hit you in any way? Yeah, sometimes it does. Sometimes it does, you know, but what I believe is not all the songs cannot carry the same weight. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. so uh, you have to keep doing it till you, 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 you know, you, you, you get them what? Well, yes, yeah, well, some of us yeah. miss you and Hammer. Are there any conversations mm. there? Oh, Hammer confirmed it. Um, I was on radio two days ago and yeah. Hammer was called in and he confirmed that he, he wants to bring Kwakesi and the Hammer chemistry back this year. So I'm sure he's preparing. I'm I'm already prepared. Yeah, he's preparing. But but it but it's, it's been so. This question I want to ask you and Tiny. I've been wanting to ask this question for what ten years. <laughs> so let me ask it. That um, there are people like me as well who yeah. miss you, Hammer. You know the Tiny Hammer, the, the sound. Yeah. You the know hammer sound. The, yeah, with the, the I don't know the embodiment of what wow. You know, and and the kind of fire you spit when you were on a hammer beat. Yeah, you still spit fire, but there's a different fire. Yeah, yeah, hammer hammer beat. Beat. So I've been asking that. Okay, so why haven't these brands still worked in the past so many years? Why wasn't before you're going to release? Why didn't you say, you know what? Let me just go and do one with hammer. I've done with Sconti, sir. Sconti, shout to you, bro. You, 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 you work, sir. Uh, when, when I was when I was busy chasing hammer. <laughs> for the work he was busy selling bread. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you hardly go outside you know your producer list to work to work with is there any reason as well um i you know most of these producers i work with um they 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 know my 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 tune they know we have a connection mm. you know it's it's hard for me to it, it's not hard but you know, other producers think, oh, you just come to the studio, they play the beat, and you have to jump on it. M mind you, some of the songs I, re I dropped with Hammer, some of them takes two years before it comes out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This, I will use software, has taken two years. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. I did the sketch two years ago. Wow. And it came to live this year. Like, it came to live late last year. Mm -hmm. And we, we dropped it this year. That's how I work. I don't... You can give me beat. You might think, oh, Kwao, it's not, it's not going to record this beat. It will take me six months, then I'll call you. It's a spirit. If the spirits don't touch me, the beat can be... Kanye West can play the beat. Jay-Z can be on the song. If the thing no hit me like that, mm -hmm. no go move. I no go move. So, so then, what about this song, Hit You, that made him move? I mean, I know myself, I've been dancing to it by school. So <laughs> like, the Awoyo Soft with yeah. it's it's... it's, it's um, it's something when we were kids, you know, when you are from the Suedro area, the Agona Gomua yeah. areas, you are you know 
about this thing. It's something we used to play with. I oh. will use of open door when we tell me so mad when we were kids. Now I could see from now. So I was doing Scotty was like I was doing this thing in the studio one time. We were just vibing and I I will use of then Scotty said, Hey, that be it. This thing. Then he played some beat. Yeah. Then I did it on it, but I didn't feel it. Okay. So uh, the interest was not there. I was in Yankee where he called me say, yo, now if you hear the song, you go crazy. I say, oh, how? He say, you. I say, send me. He say, no, I'm not going to send you. I won't make you come. <laughs> can't play. I'm yeah, going to I go play, I'm show you. Yo, the beat that he played to me, it wasn't that beat. He, he said he changed the beat four times. Mm. Even the, the beat that Kofi Mole came to rap on was not the beat that came out. So Kofi Mole was also surprised. Mm. So that's how the work works. Mm. You know, for two years, a I, song, a thing that I did and for, you know, I just forgot about is what we are jamming to now. So imagine if we had rushed it. Mm. It would, you know, I don't think it will carry the same weight it's carrying now. There's, there's something um, about the choice of the artist feature on this song. I, I, I want to see if probably my instincts are right as well. Why Kofi Mole in particular? <laughs> I don't even know why <laughs> Kofi Mole. Uh, Sconti, Sconti said Kofi Mole came to um, to do a mixing. He was mixing Kofi Mole's project, right? Yeah. Then he played some songs, and this one came out. He played this one, Kofi Mole was like, what? He wants to be on the song. Then he said, yo, you can, if you want to, you can jump on the song. And he said within 20 minutes. He nailed it. He nailed How it. How did you feel about that? Wow. You know, were you informed before he was, he got I wasn't on it? informed. When I, he, yo, I had a, a different song in mind that I was coming to. I even dropped a snippet one time. Yeah. And it, people felt the song. So that was the song I wanted to release, right? And it features a big artist, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, you know all this clear clearance, you know, mm -hmm. big yeah. label clearance and all that. So things were delaying. Then when I came to Ghana and I heard the Awu Yusuf, I'm like, damn, let's forget about that song. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the one, you know. So yo, I think Kofimole came out all with, with all, yeah. with, with his all, like he, he killed it. Like, what, what is had this had, album? Okay, sorry, go ahead. Had you had any prior interactions with Kofimole before? Do you know him? Have you guys yeah, crossed paths? Yeah, 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 parts? yeah. yeah. We, okay. we did, um, I did uh, Maquine remix, uh, which didn't make that impact like that. But uh, Kofimole was on it. It was um, around the COVID time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I featured Kofimole on it. And I featured T Flow as well. So, you know, I had always wanted to, I had always wanted to work, um, work with Kofi Mole because mm, mm. the energy the guy carries is, mm. you know, it makes me, you know, remember the, 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 the time I was coming out fresh. Yeah. Like the boy is, he is ready, he is hungry mm -hmm. for every beat. And, you know, I've always wanted to work with him. Kwa, when you look at, you know, with the, with vast experience, 20 years plus yeah. experience in this. I mean, uh, for me personally, like, I remember the first day I saw Kwa Kesi, Hasha, Hasha Studios. Studios. Yes, the first day with uh, Dogo. Yeah. Uh, you know, Big mm. Shah's going out to part Dogo. Hey, or Smart 4. You guys link up? Yeah, we long time. We long time. Long time we link yeah. up. So, so I, I remember, now when you look back 20 years plus yeah. in this what are some of the learnings that you'd probably want to tell a newer generation of rappers that are coming out? Very, very important. Um, I would say don't rush the process. You know, you have to work hard more before you, you, you come out because you don't want to come out and drop a, a single and go back again trying to get another single out. You know, work work put a lot of work in mm. so that when your light shines it stays on eh? it stays on and also be original because photocopy there in china <laughs> ah. <laughs> you know and talking originality i think that's one thing that i've seen you you know like i'm saying earlier on that keeping up with the with your uh with your hip-hop um, you know, for all this time and then working with, you know, people who understand you. And then for me, that's like one of the key things that um, learnings that artists would, would would take out. But let's let's also come to, um, you know, certain industry conversations, relationships and all. Um, you've, you've, you've been alone, sort of, 
cut off from a lot of I, I don't know how to put it um well maybe per social media perception you hardly engage or yeah, engage other people other industry mates in your in, in your space I, I don't know whether it's just me or guys if you notice the same thing that you hardly fi- find in his lane yes yeah, in his lane like uh, no his clicks no associations like that yeah like no affiliations <laughs> even an endorsement you know, rarely would you, you see don't, you know, saying that oh, yeah i mess with fully guys check fully out what is it intentional it's not intentional um it, and 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 pictures anyway you finish nobody up. looks out for anybody in this industry everybody is looking out for themselves i learned that the hard way you know um there are people that um, i've gone i've i've came out of my heart mm-hmm. to support you know with my everything and those people will turn back on you when you need them and i realized that yo my love goes i don't get the love back and you know uh, it, it's it's not it's been it's been consistent with mm-hmm. most of the artists that yo you will hit them you will see that they've seen your message they will not respond but when they meet you in public when they you know when the media is there they want to act like yo they are yo hey. <laughs> and yo i, I realize yo i'm not mm. i don't play like that but i say yeah, me i'm straight if you are straight with me i'm straight with you like you know there are people you can you can post their stuff your stuff comes it's like they haven't seen it mm. so i will not pretend like oh because for social media gains and likes and stuff I you know no I don't do that mm. I stay in my lane at the end of the day nobody feeds me when I'm hungry I don't call anybody because if you call they will laugh at you so I mean I face life the the hard way that's why you know you don't see me at places like that yeah I don't if see it call, doesn't benefit yeah. me it's not gonna do me anything I'm not coming I wish I would ask you like what was the last event that you probably uh, industry event that quite showed up showed up now nah. yeah because the industry don't show me love N- I, I don't remember the last time any industry player thought of checking up on me or anything like that and that's why that girl sang that song the yeah. Cameroonian what's her name um, I've been Le drinking Bianca. Love. Yeah. 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 Bianca, yeah. Oh. yeah yeah because yo it, I'm telling you when they are we are when they are uh, in front of the cameras they smile a lot but behind the cameras yo these people they they only think about themselves and I learned that from the industry so I'm also trying to you know protect myself from that with with what you're saying yeah how have you managed to navigate the industry then because you've been in it for a really really yeah, long for, time yeah. So how, how has that been for you? Um, you know, it, it used to be like that. Um, when, when I had a, a solid management team, mm-hmm. the management would tell me, direct me where to go. They okay. would tell me, oh, today we are going here, we are going here. Mm-hmm. Now I don't have solid management that does, you know, I don't have anybody who is out there promoting my stuff. I don't have anybody who is who is who is who is doing the pr work for me mm-hmm. you know like I'm, I'm i'm facing it the hard way so i don't go where i'm not invited if you invite me i'll i'll, I'll, I'll come but you know as i'm saying i learned it the hard way you know through experiences and stuff so as i try to stay in my corner but at the level that you are at as quarkesy an artist of your caliber is it intentional not to have a management um, team? Is it because of past experiences? And then don't you think that it's about time that you put a team together that will put things in place for you how you want it? Yeah, I have tried to put teams together. Um, and, uh, and most of these people, they think about their stomach. You know, the music thing is not about you coming to get paid. You come in today and you are getting paid and all that. You put in work. And when the work pays you back, but most of these people, when they hear, oh, when you you engage them, they think, oh, Kwakesi is rich. So, you know, they engage. Papa was rich, they rich. engage with you one, mm-hmm. two. Kwakesi is rich. Hey, let me see. Kwakesi get money. Yeah, don't get money. I'm telling you, get money. I'm telling you. No, no, get money. Hey, Joe. People are rich who come and throw money and you know. We are gradually we are working our way up there, but you know, what you are saying. Yeah. So, when these people they come with an intention, 
and when they don't meet that intention, when they don't meet that, that expectation, mm -hmm. they start falling off. So it's not that I'm not trying to put a team together. I have tried several times, every year in and year out. You know, they only think about their stomach. They don't think about me. Uh, there, there are people who go, you take them to shows and, you know, they are rather, you know, almost the old budget fans because <laughs> instead of working, you, you take somebody out there to work to take you photo shots, uh, for shoots and stuff. You see, then they are rather there than taking themselves. <laughs> you, you know, you, you, you try to bring a manager on board, money comes, small money they want to share with you. They want to get paid and all that. You know, yo, we have to put the money in the art. So okay. that we, right. we make the brand big. When the brand is big, big money will come. Mm. They don't understand it like that. So that's why I roll with Squanty. Squanty understands what I said, my vibe. And he knows that, no, this thing is investment. You invest your time. You invest your passion. You invest everything into it. And it's a gradual process, you know. So... If you don't, if you don't understand that vibe, you can't roll with me. Charlie, this this goes back to two things that I'm seeing here. It goes back into the failed structures of our industry. You know, earlier, I think you guys noticed this. Where um, uh, is the, are they? Are they? Are there policies? Are there structures? Are there? Is there infrastructure? Are there softwares and all those that, that pay back artists for their hard work? No, it doesn't exist. Mm. So literally, the artist is is. On working on some um uh, like you 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 have to use some takashi yeah. to maneuver yourself you yeah. know in the in the industry or else you know and then also professionals we mentioned this professionals in our spaces mm. who um you know do you do you understand the a and r business do you understand the you know uh, this business do you understand this in the various fields so like the artist is literally left on his own to, to just do you know to do everything but back to that question that she was asking about you know creating the team so where where do you find yourself right now and do you feel that um there's still no hope with regards to finding other people you know to be able yeah, to we, we, we still there we, we're still looking up to build a stronger team mm. i need a solid team you know yo that's what i'm saying some of the times i don't even come out because i don't have a solid team to put stuff in place so i would rather stay stay you know stay in the house rather than me myself drive myself you know da, 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 da. Is it, we, we want to build a team is it because of is the challenge lack of expertise or trust um, not even trust but um do you perhaps see it as an expensive investment to make because there are definitely professionals around who would want to work Right, well, but maybe I just they, maybe one reached out to me now yeah, as well. And but somebody, maybe they, they may be requesting for an arm and a leg because of the expertise. So is the challenge the lack of expertise or the expensive nature of securing talents like that for a team? Because for an artist like you, I'm sure if you looked out for a photographer like, oh, Kalkas is a big artist, so I'm going to charge him this, this amount. And then maybe you might say, ah, man, we're just trying to build something, so why don't you take it easy? And then... The ripple effect is oh man, these artists no don't pain. like pain. They yeah. don't like pain. So it's like you are trying to you're trying to you're trying to make things happen, but because of the status you've developed or because of the the legacy you have, anybody's gonna come to you is expecting that you pay him good. Yeah. And we know of stories where artists don't pay their um their employees well, you know. So there's there's that gray gray line so for you what's what's the challenge the challenge is that um you know to me you have to put in work okay to get the returns so if you are coming because you think oh Kwakesi has be, is, is, <laughs> is in the industry you are assuming Kwakesi is rich mm. so you want to come and milk th that is not how it works to me if if you want to work let's work this um, this industry we, is based on um, commission. Ba is, is is based on commissions. You work, money come, you get your commission. That's how it works. So if if I have a solid team and you are bringing in, um, let's say A, and you say, oh, I want to take B as my commission, we understand each other. Then we work. Don't expect me that oh you come you you have to get paid. And when you don't get paid, it means 
the artist is stingy or the artist don't want to pay or no. Maybe the artist don't have the money to pay at the moment. So if you are not getting paid, you are, you're not going to get be part of the team. It's a team. We are working to achieve something. Mm. So you have to come out, come out and, and passionately do the work. Have you had people come and then along the way they left? A lot of people. Did, uh, they tell, did they tell you why they left? That's the reason they, 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 money. Don't, they don't get money. But imagine, imagine if last year I didn't play any shows the whole year. Only time I got shows played was in December. Hmm. Okay? So if, if I'm working with you and the whole year I don't get money to pay you, it means you are not working. What you are here? But imagine when the time you left, uh, this song has come in. I will use off we seen and you know it's gonna bring a lot of money because right. all the shows are, are you know yeah. we're going to Easter. Imagine if you had you know waited for our use of food to drop so that we can eat. <laughs> <laughs> <You see? laughs> but can you blame them though? You can't blame yeah. them. That is blame the, I mean, the industry. The, the industry Listen, we don't have. We Wait, don't would have you blame the industry or the economy? Because there's, I you don't know, there's, the economy. there I should be a, a difference. We, we, it's, listen, we don't have an a solid industry that supports showbiz. We don't have a show business industry in Ghana. Granted, every artist is doing their own. To say, uh, Jay said, it's Takashi. <laughs> Everybody is on on their own until you blow up. Right. You see, and we all cannot blow up. Mm. Some people will blow up to get recognized by big labels. Some people will build it small, small. Mm. You know, so if you want to be part of, 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 of the success, you have, to, you have to work with the artists, whether they're going through hell or they're in heaven. But don't, don't leave me when I'm in hell <laughs> and expect... <laughs> to come to heaven with me when you know. <laughs> although you're not entitled to whatever you choose to do right yes okay uh, so right. you liked on the facebook page i tell you big shout out also i'm watching on facebook <laughs> yeah, I, I i i also want to find out from you uh, which is more difficult right um being a big superstar in years past you know caucasy everywhere you, sw you swept awards at the GME. I think you're the first artist who have done carry like about was it five awards? Five awards, yeah. yeah on on a night, you yeah, know, crazy, you know. And then, unfortunately, something happens. You go, um, you go into um, a secret place, and you come back. Which is more difficult, blowing up, going down, coming back again, or starting all over again? Hmm. Because I, I I I want to believe you still remember the experience you had from the days of yeah. hammer yeah. growing up as an artist and now experiencing stardom so now you've had a taste of what it means to be a yeah. superstar yeah you're playing shows everywhere across the country the i don't know if you play shows out of the country at that time i'm not too sure but you were everywhere yeah. abodam was like a thing in school for me yeah you know when we hear the hammer beats we know we're about to say a nine it's like <laughs> it was crazy like yeah. you influenced you know the way people dressed you know, people were talking like the whole street. Listen, street. you know, yeah. um, your terms, they were lingos in your song. Down. You yes. understand? Everybody was like <laughs> that. that. That's like a whole culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? A whole, a, whole a whole movement. Yeah. And then, you know, unfortunately, something happens. And then you have to go into the secret place. And now you have to come back again to re announce yourself. Between the two, which would you say is more difficult to navigate? Um, I, 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 the thing is, um, when I was, when I was, to say now, can when I blowed up before, <coughs> um, there were no social media. Okay. You know, things have changed. There was no streaming platforms. So, things have changed. A lot of things have changed. I would say, if I'm blowing up again at this time, it's going to be huge. Because it's not just going to be Ghana. Right. It's going to be worldwide. So, uh, though I have enjoyed, you know, stardom and all that before, the stardom never went away because all this while, like, people, there are people who call you to come and perform and, mm. you know, it, it never went away. But I wasn't on top all the time, mm. all these years. Mm. Somebody came on top. Mm. Other person came on. And that's how the music is supposed to be. You mm. can't stay on top forever because... New energy keeps coming. That's right. 
what um, I'm excited for is that I'm able to still, after 20 years, mm. still be in the game and be acknowledged by the, the, the current, current yeah. you know, mm. current yeah. the legacy. Yeah. So I think um, it, it's a legacy. It, it, for you to stay in the in the industry for 20 years and today my song is like one of the top songs now um i would say i have done well um you know I, i'm not the top artist in ghana right now but i'm not supposed to stay on top forever mm. that's what i believe in you know mm. systems come and systems go right you know there was a black star uh, captain when I was the biggest artist. He is not the same captain again. Maybe yeah. he's not even playing again. Yeah. The people I started with way back, most of them are not playing again. So mm -hmm. for me to be here today, still be still right with a flat stomach, that be with the pattern. Yeah. 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 What does that but mean? But you see, quite a with, with all this relevance, come as you think. You know, Kau, I, 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 I like the, I like the fact that bro, I give up. I like the fact that you talked about you talked about legacy, um, and I want to focus more on the Swedro Takrade Fanti legacy. Yeah. Um, I think apart from yourself and maybe Kofi Kenata, and maybe. By some extension, T flow. Papi and us. Yeah, but Papi Kojo also did mention that you've inspired him a lot and stuff like yeah. that. What do you make of the incubator in that part of, of Ghana in that terms of producing, you know, music, music superstars them. like yourself, Kinata, Papi Kojo? It's like, it's not really much of a, of a populated produce yeah. as compared to Siano and yeah. perhaps. Even with even the Volta region, I think apart from Edem and no, Chicago, there hasn't been any incubation like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, Chief One, yeah, Chief One, yeah. But it's not as much as and we see, uh, you know. And I, I don't want anybody to say I'm being tribalistic. I just want to understand, you know, what is it like in Swedro? No, me and Jupiter talk, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and all that. Papi, yes. Papi, Papi wants to continue. <laughs> when he came in, he said he wants to continue a legacy you started, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why he seems to have a very good relationship with your your producer. Um, Sconti, yeah. you know. So, what do you make of of that incubator, and what do you think could be, maybe you want to prophesy? What do you think will be the next wave from, you know, um, the Western Region of Swedro? Um, I think um, there okay. there are new cats who are really you know putting in work, and you know this industry takes one good turn, like one good song can turn all your you know captivity around yes <laughs> so i know a lot of a lot of boys who are you know putting in putting in work but do they come to you do they call you and say Kwao, show us the way um because you are still trying to figure yourself the, the, out in the new in yeah the new I, system. I, yo i used to get that a lot but now if i if you tell me to show you the way i tell you to do social media you right. see because um black sheriff mm was discovered on social media. Mm. Famille was discovered on social media. Mm. Kwesiata, mm. you know, and it's all, it took one song for the world to realize these guys have it. And right after that, they blow up. They blow up. So if you ask me to show you the way, now the way is social media. That's where we are all you trying, know, to, figure trying to figure it out. Mm. So I will tell you, yo, Instead of chasing me, to asking me to help you, the help is now there. Put your stuff out. Continue putting stuff out. One day, one. Befa. Safu Newman. You see? If you see the guy in dressing and everything, say, you know, the guy <laughs> is going through hell. <laughs> but <laughs> his one song changed his life. He's changed his life. So don't sit there waiting for Kwakesi to come and help you. Don't be sending. There's the, no big secret. There's no big secret now. Those days there was no social media. So if you ask me to help Please you, maybe I can call, call some uh, DJ uh, to play your song or this. Now it's not. It's not. Or like play that. Or. Or play or put your, your <laughs> stuff out, put it out, tag people. Mm. Uh, one day somebody go hear the thing, go wow, and that is the that's that's keep that's it. Sure that's it. Uh, yeah, Carl, you keep referring to you know your time, you know, yeah. back in the day and all of that. Um, you mentioned DJs playing songs, so I just want to ask this 
with a new one that you have, right? Um, do you have to, you know, grease any palms to make sure your song is played? Considering also that you said that the industry hasn't been supportive towards you, this is a good is a good song, right? Yeah. Um, is this still the case? Because back then we heard of Payola, right? Yeah. Is this still happening? Have um, you had to do that? Yeah, I don't do Payola now, but um, you know, it's the world has changed. You know, it's it will be nice to appreciate somebody who is pushing your stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. You can't appreciate everybody, but at least there are some people you wanna, you know, put credit on their phones, okay. so that when they they, they play your song, they can say, "Wow, I played your song." Mm. You know, it's nice to be nice to people. So it's not payola to me anymore. But yo, when people are showing you love and you are capable of showing the love back, you have to give the you love back. It. Okay. Yeah. All right. Guys, let me ask this question and see if you guys, everybody can help me answer it because it's uh, about who is, is Kwakese arguably one of the very first artists to, to work with the streets, the terminology yes. streets. Yes. Did it, prior to that, was there anybody who was, because, you know, we, 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 we brought, we brought the streets. Into the, I, I into, want to find into, out into uh, the Ghana just, industry. Nobody. Largely, yeah. Uh, you know, know, when Abodam came out, it was it was it. It was it. You know, and up till now, I'm telling you, bro, things have changed in Accra by Yanko Hinterlands. Come on. Because mm -hmm. over here in Accra, there is a lot of politics in the game. Mm. By Yanko Hinterlands, what do you say? Yeah. The streets, it will never pass. I am the only artist. Who has kids two years in this era, like 2024? You see a two year kid who will say, Abordam. And I go, like, When were you? When were you born? <laughs> <laughs> you see? Yeah. So, you know, my, I have painted the street and it will be there forever. Yeah, facts. The thing is, I don't want it to die. That's why I keep doing the thing. The music. The mm -hmm. music. But for, for 20 years, if I was playing, in the Premier League, if you play for 20 years, I think you do you, all. <laughs> you do all. Yeah. Where, 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 where is, where is your brother, Buddha? Yeah, Buddha He's is Buddha is in Swedro. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's what's up with the music? Is it is he looking to continue? Ah, uh, I think he's 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 still doing music, but you know, some of I can't speak for Buddha because because you signed him, you signed him to My Time Records. Yeah, he was on your record. Yeah, label, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He was on my record, and yeah. he is still on my record. He's still on record label, right? Yeah, you know that. Some sometimes he take one good song yeah. to turn everything around, mm -hmm. but he's been working. So I want I want to pick your mind on um, what it's like as an artist and uh, an active artist. They say the artists don't retire; they just go dormant, mm -hmm. right? So. An active artist trying to also figure it out and at the same time managing another artist on the same label. What is the reality of that? You know? it, it's not easy. Mm. It's not easy. It, it, it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I know a, a couple of artists have tried it and mm. it's, it didn't work. So to me, I don't think an artist can go all out to manage another artist. Right. You can have a label, have people working for you. Right. And that team can take care of the artist. But right. you, the artist, personally trying to blow another artist mm. is hard. We, we, we've, been, we've tried and tested it, and it's not just me. Often, what's, what's the mindset before you get to that point of noticing that it's hard? Like, at what point did you think or so, thought that, oh, Jale, let me bring on another artist? What was the thinking? What were you considering when you took that decision before you realized that, uh, so so um all the artists that i've tried to bring out you know i see you know some some potential in them mm -hmm. and i try to help you know i as, as the, i'm the first artist in ghana who signed an artist i signed okra tom davidi okay. yeah, those days oh, okay. uh, mm -hmm. i produced um i did um executive produce one of his songs um Kosuabu, and I featured on the song as well. It was a good song. It was big. I shot the video, big video and all that. But along the w along the way, I realized, you know. Conflict of interest? Not conflict of interest, okay, but the weight. The weight was heavy. Okay. And it's it, it gets heavier when the artists themselves 
are not ready to also put in some work so that it makes your work easy. They they think, oh, you are big. They're on your shoulders. You so they are on your shoulders. Yeah. But sometimes you know, you you know being on, on, on another artist's shoulders and gaining weight. Weight, weight <laughs> down. And gaining weight. You are there, you are eating in addition. <laughs> so when you have to also push mm. yourself, when you get the little chance, you have to push yourself. Don't wait for the artist to do everything for you. Mm. And you know, most people get it wrong that way. They think, oh, you are big. So they want to leverage. So yes. You know, some even feel like they are on the same, you know, level with you. you. Yeah. No. You ha I worked my way to That's where I am. Yeah. So if I'm I'm trying to push you up, don't Put all the weight on me and you relax. Have to work. You have to also put in work. Yeah. That's, that's real. When there is an event going and I'm not part of the event, don't wait for me to be on an event before you go and perform. You can also go there, perform, showcase your craft. Mm. But most of these people relax. And it's not just me. You know, most of our, my colleagues signed artists mm. and along the way they didn't work out. Mm, that's real. Now that wanna, you've learned, okay. you've learned from you know all of these, you know um, experiences. Would you say that you are in a position now to bring aboard you know no. more fresh, nah, vibrant, <laughs> you know, talent? Man said he's trying to figure it out. He's the one who do. He's the one who do. Each one for his own. Right now, my 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 the problem I am facing right now <laughs> is yeah. is team. I want to build a solid team. Yeah, okay. That's where the focus is. Before if, you if, bring on if, fresh talent. If, no, no, yeah, if, if, if I bring, if I build, if I'm able to build a solid team, uh -huh. the team can take that responsibility. Okay. Yeah. But there's still that possibility yeah, of it Yeah, there's happening. a possibility. Okay. I still wonder, you know, there, mm. there must be artists who come under me. Who, right. When, when I'm retired, mm. people will say, oh, quite be this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 so. Yeah. And, yeah. and two, the, the industry doesn't pay. Mm. We see our Nigerians doing it because they have a solid industry. I have been doing music for 20 years. I never pay, I never got paid any royalties. <laughs> Still, the, the last time they said my money become the music guy, I go it be thirteen thousand. Imagine doing music for twenty years, and you go and you mean Gamro, sorry, yes, thousand Gamro, yeah, Ta thirteen thousand, thousand, yeah, thousand dollars, thirteen thousand. That's <laughs> money. That money, if I push hard on Bistro Kid, I can make that money in a month or two. Yeah, you see, I have done mu my music is playing everywhere every day in this country. And somebody will sit there and say, we are giving you 13000 <laughs> it's, it's an insult. Would you sell your catalog? No, I haven't sold anything. The, would you sell it? Would you get to a point? Yeah, if I get the, yeah. a if, good deal, you sell it? a good it? deal, I will sell it. And mm. use the money to invest in something you know, lucrative. That will mm. keep me going. Mm. Okay, um, sure I, so I wanted to know that the Kaukese brand that we fell in love with, Abu Dam, was very disruptive. Crazy stuff. I, mean, I remember a wheelbarrow at the awards and sell. Yeah. The brand that's the, the brand we are looking at now, like quote unquote the rebel. I like this cereal. Are we yeah. are we are we call me I, 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 I'm requesting. <laughs> let, let me let me tell I'm, you something. I'm requesting. Let, let me, yeah, let me tell you know where they go. I'm I see, requesting. I see I see growth yeah. affecting yeah, come down the, too much for my liking. I see growth affecting the 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 the, the growth is fighting the that one that created. I didn't say to what I'm saying. That 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 if you can tell from my last performance mm. at, at Tema. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yo, that performance was trending everywhere. That is when we decided to bring the madness back. That was first of this year, the first January, right? Mm -hmm. That is when me and the team, we, we said, no, we're coming back. So we can't come on stage dry like that. No. So I'm telling you guys, yo, this year is going to be crazy. So Abodam is safe. We are out. Oh, you are safe. Thank you. You are safe. <laughs> 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 Abodam is safe. Abodam is safe. Abodam is protected. Uh, protected. Yeah. What, I'm, what I actually <laughs> miss, um, when, when Lenny asked you whether you miss you, um, I was even looking at some of these disruptive 
mm. from live performances that you are known for. Game but changing moments. Yeah, you know, you know yeah. I think one of the stages was it was it a wheelbarrow you brought? Yeah, to me? what a wheelbarrow? And I think awards were inside. Wheelbarrow, yeah. 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 yeah, there was even one with wheelbarrow with all the champagne. Champagnes. Yeah. 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 yeah, you you. I mean, do you do you gun. come up with these ideas yourself, yeah, or is yeah, the team yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was me and Fennec. We you, oh. you know oh, when we have an event, we have a big show like that. We, tell you, you know, we can't just come and stand on Tuxedo, stage. who are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my last question. Yeah, my last okay. question. Um, I, I, always ask, I always ask the people involved in this record. Okay? I feel like it's one of the biggest hip-hop records, you know, um, Ghana has ever enjoyed. And I'm happy to be a Ghanaian for this record. You did craze. I've asked Adam, I think, I don't know if Sack has been asked, I wasn't here during the time. But for you, yeah. let's walk us down memory lane. What happened? With, for your point of view, yeah. how did you come on the record? Um, one and they didn't want quite a bit of a job. I said, I've been quite a bit of a straw. Oh, like, like, hey, we used to rap this in school. Yeah, yeah I know. You right. get me? Like, anytime, anytime the beat drops, you're like, quiet, you know, they, the trumpets, they start, yeah, 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 that I said that some of us who miss yeah. the power <laughs> hammer effects. Yeah, you you were hammers. Anytime we heard hammers beats, it was either you, Tiny, or yeah, Braffo. Yeah. You know, and so you, I think you carried you know hammers signature very well in our time in school. Yeah. You know, because actually people want to dance. So dance so too. imagine before you answer. So imagine. <laughs> This, this, as you are saying, <laughs> I was probably like, what? I was like, well, 19. I'm, bring, I'm yeah, coming like 19, 20 years. Is this you this year, saying? <laughs> I was 19, 20 years. Yeah, Literally, yeah. I've, you know, a day uni. Right. Early days of uni. Yeah. So imagine me going to the studio yeah, to, yeah, watch yeah, live, them, to watch it live. To watch it live. Being done. <laughs> <laughs> the time they play, uh, uh, um, or a nonsense. Uh, yeah. And I mean, then, uh, okay. um, uh, I asked Hammer played the nonsense before we read, I come add, yeah. uh, um, the horns to pa, 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 it. Pa, 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 yes. Yeah, Imagine yeah, me in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> the corner like this. And they watch what they have for there. My legs is shaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you guys, can you guys, imagine. You guys that there was, there's, there's a certain, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's something that we, people yeah, are also looking for. People are hungry for yeah, that. For yeah. That. yeah I, I told Hammer the last time. So, to your question, yeah. Hmm. Um, I think around that time, um, I was, I had come out with all your nonsense and I think um Mato Kwa Kwa, you know, Kwa Kwa. Then I had started getting shows. So okay. I was busy. Mm. Then Hammer said he was doing the um the, is it Lost Files? Yeah, yeah Lost Files, yeah. yeah. So he called me one day that oh he, he got something for me, I should come to studio and you know listen. And when I came he played it. And Adam's verse was crazy. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. crazy. At that time, Sack was, you know, Sack was not last to like that. No. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, Sack right. was not last, but he was doing his thing on, on Kasahari, so like mm -hmm. everybody heard him. Mm -hmm. Then Hama opened the beat. So when Hama opened the beat, mostly me and Hama, when we connect, uh, we have to go stand in the sun, mm -hmm. <laughs> scorching sun. And he would light his job. <laughs> fire for fire. And I would light my thing. Some kiosk. <laughs> some, some, some kiosk me did hash hash. Uh, so challenge. The eyewitness. The eyewitness. Yo, that's a serious ritual. Before feature the kiosk in the documentary. So what was your experience? Then scorching sun. Then he would he be smoking his jaw out. You know, I'd take my one or two. Then he would take two puff, pa, 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 straight, and give it back to me. So I even said it in the song, in the Medawasi song to Hammer. I mean, right. Um, say, oh, that was what you, oh, yeah. wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we would smoke in the scorching sun. Then we will get back into the studio. Now say ho. And it's not based on terms. Listen, that opener. 
That yeah. opener, that that line, that line alone, man. <laughs> oh man, Charlie Charles going out to Shush, uh, Shushu. Shushu Bampo. Yeah, man. so rest in perfect yeah, peace. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the the guy who produced played the saxophone. What's his name? Um, this other guy, Hatasha. Uh, uh, fat, 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 fat. Yeah, yeah. but they fat. You yeah. know, Charles going out to the other people, yeah. man. So, you know. so when you came into the studio, uh, the, the beat was already done. Yeah, the beat was done. Adam's verse was done. Okay, sax verse wasn't there sax yet. Sax verse wasn't there yet. Okay. Yeah, so. I was the second person to recall. Right. And, um, you know, I've, when you come out from the scorching sun, your mind <laughs> yeah. is hot. It's hot. <laughs> <you know? laughs> it's hot. <laughs> and then you just. I just killed it. When I know you did the woman, I mean, 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 I feel like, okay, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really a hip hop head. He's a hip hop head. But when you, when you put lines like that together, what are you trying to tell the listener? Is it like trying to remind them that you are the boss? Yeah, yeah I'm you the know, boss. Because you said you had blown if up it, and then... Yeah, you know, I'm the boss. Because drinking, you, drinking you, soup with straw is it's, some it's kind of flex. It's, it's like... Some, yeah. It's, it's in Kwasi. In Kwasi, I'm 17. <laughs> I will show you, say, I'm the boss of in Kwasi. I'm Right. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 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 Off, off, this is off his music, right? Mm. Um, you are projected as, you know, a hard guy, strong, you know, everything, the whole Abadam, you know, all of that, all of that. But there's a soft side to you yeah, when it comes soft. to family, yeah. right? Your wife and then your children. How do you meet, you know, how does the hard um, human or the hard Kwakesi meet the soft Kwakesi in the middle? So um, I decided to leave the hard Kwakesi for business, for mm. the Kwakesi And Madame business. doesn't go home. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> when, when I'm home, <laughs> I, the studio. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always make this comparison. I'm, I'm like a footballer. Okay. You know, I'm now, when I'm on the on the field, I'm Cristiano Ronaldo. I will run, so I, I am Messi. I will uh -huh. dribble and dribble <laughs> and score. But when I leave the field, you don't see me holding the ball on the street, uh, you know? Yeah. When I'm going to the mall with my kids, you don't you, you don't expect to see me holding the ball and playing mm -hmm. it around. Yeah. Right as mm -hmm. The abodam has become my job. So when I'm on the job, I have to be I have to let the abodam out. Mm. When I leave the job, I have responsibilities as a father. You mm. know, so but my kids they they even enjoy the abodam more but <laughs> <my, laughs> when they go to school and you know when they the teachers do how they come home daddy abodam oh. <laughs> you know but i try to balance the two because mm. if if i'm to be so your people used to be scared of me when mm -hmm. when when i came out first I, th I remember we were going for interviews. The ladies would see me and they, they would go like this. Yeah. So I I've I've kept this question off or uh, you know my chest for a while, but let me oh, just oh. <laughs> let me ask it. Let me let me ask it. It's gonna be a hard one, but let yeah. me ask it. Let me ask it. Um I see people are pushing for that question to be asked. So let me ask it. Someone like Shata Wale, unofficial PR. Yeah, someone like Shata fights for what a lot of artists hardly speak about. Yeah. Fairness in the industry. Pay pay me what it's worth. Um DJs are taking too much for me, then I'll go with the social media. I'll allow them to push my fans. Um, you know. So if all these are pillars that artists wish the industry does for them and the economy would do for them as you know creative ads what brings about the enmity sometimes uh, or the uh, beef? each one is for himself you know shatter will come and talk all these things um i respect his opinions i think that's you know i stand for most of the things he says but the very people you are supposed to come up come together with to fight this cause you are fighting them so you will come and make he will come and make all these assertions and go back to fight with the same people that he claims he is fighting for that's where i have an issue with you see see the way he is always on sack on stone boy but you were on you were on sack yeah, I w but you don't see me always get up, go live, dissing anybody. I'd, I, I, I addressed Sack when, you know, he he did what he did to me. 
Because I, I never, I would never do that. I have never done that. I've been there for him every time he calls. Even around the time I came out to blast him, he called, I picked. Mm -hmm. He wanted me on his show, I went to perform. It's, so it's, it's something now? with me that, if, you know, if I, I'm connected with you, we can fight and still make up. I can fight with you right now, and after that, I will shake your hand and we keep going. That's how the game is supposed to be. But we, we've we, seen Shata fight and make up Samini. No, 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 we've no, seen no. Shata and we've some. seen Shata Bulldog. Oh, we've but seen Shata. Shata goes back. He will uh, make up with you. Yeah. Go back, diss you again, and come back and, and make come friends. back and uh, uh, you know and sign <laughs> do it again. You know, it's a person like that. You have to be scared of them. They are snakes. But he's, no, but he says he says. When he came the last time, he says all of these things are just shenanigans and acts that. Oh no, but. See, na na, but over my. You are stepping on somebody mm -hmm. to. to What's in the style? No, no. Then, okay, then he has to keep his style, but the style is not working for the industry. Do because you, you claim you want us to come together. You claim you are fighting for the industry. Now the, 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 the gatekeepers who are supposed to make the industry happen, you come and fight for the industry, and you turn back the same industry you are fighting for. You, you insult everybody. Mm. They will see you like a joke. Right. What do I say? Right. We have to be serious. If you want to fight for the industry, there are industry players that you can come together with and fight the industry and win. But if you are fighting the players, how can you win? Have we not failed the musicians? Have we the players, the gatekeepers, the, uh, the market leaders, the people who are supposed to be managing certain uh, brands that are supposed to be able to pay you the artists? Have yeah. we not, if you look at after 20, 20 something years, have we not failed you? The whole industry is a failure. Eesh. Be managed we, by us. The whole industry is a failure. That's, we are all, you know, everybody is hustling to make it happen. We don't have a solid industry. What you are saying? There should be <clears throat> labels. There should be people investing in the industry. Nobody is doing that. I know Ghanaians who go like me, they don't like Ghanaian music. They will be praising Nigerians against Ghanaians. I know Ghanaians outside. When a Ghana event is happening, $50, 3 a.m., they still standing at gate. Nigeria event is happening, one fifty dollars sold out weeks before the event. Still saying, is the, we co co still uh, staying on this uh, shutter conversation. I mean, he's, uh, a, he's a good friend. Like we are, you know, I don't want us to. Okay, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not going there. I'm not going myself, there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, with all due respect, I'm not going yeah. there. I'm not going there. I'm just uh, making a reference, and then, um, um, it took a while. It took a. It took. Uh, I'm just making a reference to anything that happened. Him to walk off the, I think it was the VGMA stage, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that those times, and complain about, um, you know, the vo the votings and all those things, the mechanics around it, for us, us to seeing some artists turning down, not wanting to be part of some of the award schemes that were, were happening. I think while himself has I did, time passed, I did that, done that. I did a lot of that before. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, then before, that 20, yeah before oh, then, he came, then, he came then, to then do that. that. I, that I was the one question. who championed um, <coughs> um, payment um, for, shows. for shows. If you go to, um, uh, uh, you know, Ghana Music Awards, uh, you know, those days, I was the one who said, yeah, they were paying peanuts. And I said, if you don't pay me, Hundred million at a time. I'm not performing. That's they were like, 10,000. Hey! 10,000. Because they were paying 3,000, 2,000, and people were performing. 1,005. 1,005. Wow. 20 years I on the line, 10, we are still. <laughs> and people said, no, nobody can afford. Even big boss, the big bosses, we can't afford. This is this is, but, this is is for the music awards stage. Not the oh, music awards. Big platforms. Big platforms. Big platforms. platforms. Okay. okay. But they started <laughs> paying because they needed me. So they needed a radical, disruptive yeah. person yes. to cause the to change. Cause, yes. So that's perfectly what Shatter was doing. But I'm saying, when he started doing that and we all we felt for him, then he turned on all of us, insulting all the musicians, insulting the industry, the, the industry players, you know. And when you do that, you rather get people to go against your agenda. Do you know what I wish for? To... People who hold streets 
to collaborate and feed the interest oh, I was going of, to the, ask that. of the of we who are just the followers the, the street boys here if you say we, we won't hear um i say that because there are some collaborations mm-hmm. that are mighty you know so we'll look forward to the future of that uh and and see how that um that would uh, that would happen uh okay Darko, i don't yeah, know that that is my school son yeah, so, let me pick, let me pick yeah, the score. Yeah. Nobody can love him more than his school father. Ah, <laughs> yeah. cool. Is it literally so, like literally your school son? Yeah, yeah. We went, we went to, to the same school. The same school. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Winnie win, win Sec, Winnie by Secondary. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, okay. I see. Hey, junior, I'll buy one count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wanted to find out. Um, you know, we didn't touch on family. Um, mm-hmm. how's how's family? How are you doing? How's the family the doing? Family doing? Wife doing and the kids are not. In Ghana, are no, they? they are in Ghana. They're they, in Ghana, they, okay. They love Ghana. She's better. still running the restaurant? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How has it now been we, so we, far? We're exporting Wachi overseas. Come on, oh, a lot. Nice. They, wow. They buy overseas than Ghana here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. When when would you say, you know, that breakthrough came about? Because I remember when she started the business, you had an interview where you talked about You're so excited about it. Yeah. Years down the line, you know, has this been one of the best decisions the family has yeah, taken? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's one of the best decisions, mm. you know. And how are you managing the economic crisis and, you know, rising? Well, food. People, yo, no matter the economy, you will eat. Food, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So it's, I'm, 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 I'm glad we ventured into, into the food business, mm. you know, because there's always food. There's always food. Yeah. Let me take your, um, your thoughts on politics. And often when, you know, we have the stars coming, we talk about it because it's an election here. Um, I don't know if you've, you've listened to Baumia's vision for the creative arts, but you have been very vocal about, you know, some of the uh, some of government's positions on, you know, some, you know, economic situations and whatnot. But I want you to focus on the creative arts in general. Yeah. We've had one of our own be a part of government, you know, in the person of Honorable Michael Crooker Mante. Yeah. First of all, what do you make of his performance? so far and <laughs> then i'll go to the other question uh, your your the laughing <laughs> even answers the question <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because of what you wrote there are you so, disappointed okay let's look at your expectations before what were your expectations before and what would you say your um your feedback or your remarks are right now um so for somebody who is who has been part of the creative industry who has managed artists and stuff mm. um I would say if I'm, I'm, I'm to mark him, I will mark him 40 over 100. Wow. Yeah. That's a, that's a, is it failure or a pass? We are not Waik. <laughs> <laughs> the man has answered your question. <laughs> 40 Thank over 100. God. As his, why, as his, why, as his what, lawyer. What do you think could have, what's the 60 lacking? Uh, I believe that there's, there's, there's not been any change. Uh, maybe he's done stuff that I haven't seen, but mm. Personally, I haven't seen any the, the impact, a, in, any impact yeah. that he's brought into the into the industry since he he took office. Mm. Yeah, and and would you say it's um, is a disappointing run? Oh yeah, if you get forty over hundred, it's a disappointing. <laughs> Receipts, yeah. right? Yeah. So moving passed. forward, yeah. you know, um, the vice president is looking to run for the office of the president. He's, you know, laid out. It's, it's not a, an in-depth manifesto. Um, guys, Juliet is now the chairman for the subcommittee for the tourism and arts and culture in Bahamas, um manifesto okay. for 2024. Like just, just, just by the way. Yeah. But I don't know if you've heard the vice president's vision for the creative arts. He said we should look at getting our own digital streaming platforms. Um, he's also talked about the fact that um, he's looking to um, expand the the creative arts in such a way that everybody could feel it, right? Mm-hmm. But for you as an as a, as a creative and as an as an artist, what are your expectations beyond you know politics? For those that we and, you know, one thing about Ghana, if if um, if you comment, you, you make a comment about the ruling government, they take you to belong to the opposition. Okay. You see? But is that a problem? So it makes people don't want to come out. People mm-hmm. hide mm-hmm. their feelings. They don't want to say it. But, but is that right? It, democracy it, does not allow so people to keep that's quiet, why we so. don't understand democracy. Mm-hmm. What I say. Mm. If I if I come out with my what what is it called? My opinions. Mm. 
people might, will take me to be opposition. Let me tell you one thing. Tell me. Um, there's one thing that this government has done that, that you know, Ghana, ha, in a way, has benefited. The year of return mm. thing that they, I think, you know, is put Ghana on the map. Mm. A lot of people want to come to Ghana now because mm -hmm. of that. Um, our industry players played an important role, like Sakodia winning BET and yeah. telling them to come to Ghana. back home. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's that is something that is that has worked. When the vice president says he will come and put stuff in place, I also heard the vice president once said they will bring harbor to Cape Coast, they will bring airport. Mm. 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 He said it, airport and all that, and, and it has not happened. So. You know, I, I take I don't take most of his words serious. But in his defense, he said he's a mate. You know, he doesn't have the opportunity um, to take decisions hey, hey, as it were. Okay. okay, so you are a mate. Mm -hmm. If do you don't load the car, the car will not move. Charlie, literally. <laughs> and on that note, Charlie, literally. No, I'm going to hard. I beg, album title will be the title. <laughs> King Kessie the first. first. King Kessie the first. Yeah. Yes, King Kessie the first. Yeah. Set to release this year. Yeah, and this any, year. Is any timelines? Um, I don't want to give timelines. Okay. Sometimes you give timelines and you know it, it doesn't happen and you deceive your people. Yeah. When everything is set. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to cut the question. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> because the answer you give me, <laughs> it, it finished. That'd be all. Well, we praise you for the new song. Amazing work. Uh, big shout to Kofi Mola as well. Hardworking guy. Charlie, uh, uh, no, 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 no. For the first wow, time. We don't go feel wait, wait. Way. Hold on. We don't go talk. Listen, my first Can award. we clap? Can we clap? Uh, because yeah. Snape has yeah. never. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. 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 Something is happening. Yeah. 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 This show chop one and a half. One and one and so on. We have called this master next to you a thousand times to come into the studio. This one is special. Man. No, it's not because man. he said he gave me oh, Papa award. Christine, no, maybe you can come here. No. Celestine, don't want to make you come here. Shantawale, come. Sakwe, you don't come. Sakwe, you don't come. Sakwe, you don't come. Eh, 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 you don't come. Fuse. Uh, Fuse, come. No, but even those people, they don't even have a connection to him. They even have a connection to him, they didn't even make you last man. Me and this man. Wait, wait, so which video again? Which video? Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Still, bye bye. Still, should have been here. And it, 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 for it, it, it won the, the, the best video wow. the, the 2008 Family oh, Music Awards. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Wow. We're coming through your flowers. You've done an amazing job. And like he's saying, even for some people don't even last in companies 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. To work in the same company ah, for 20 lasting, years. The companies don't last 20 the years. Lost for the companies don't right. really last 20 <laughs> years. <laughs> to stay in this thing all this while, and like you said, one thing I picked from you is that even the people now still mention the name. Yeah. Yes. And that, that tells you that a certain work has gone into it. For Fennec, may his soul rest in perfect peace. Bro, yeah. we'll miss you till we meet again. And Kwa, we know that, like you said, it's always that one song. Yeah. And, the, and, and it has started. Yeah. So for us at 3 Music, I mean, it's an honor and a blessing to have you here, you know. And, and we'll jam the song all day, every day. It's a pleasure being here, Charlie. And Charlie, you guys, yo, you know, you guys are the talk of town now. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah you guys are doing Ushay, amazing. Ushay, Ushay. Yo, Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be on, the, on, on this on this platform. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. To all the people on socials, as well, thank you so much uh, for your comments. We, we read each and every, we saw each and every one of them. Thank you, Kwao. You've just got people talking plenty. <laughs> uh, please take out the good conversations. Pass where it doesn't. Don't go and cut parts and create headlines. Please let's look at things in con uh, out of context. Or oh, is it in context? Out of context. Out of context. Out of context. Yeah. Out of context. 
context, right? Yeah, look at the whole thing and then let a number of things that Kwa has said sink in. And that's what's most important. Kwa Kesi, thank you so very much. And on that note, please go download the song, go stream the song, Awe Yo Sofo. Yeah, Awe Yo yes, Sofo, featuring please. Kofi Mole. Featuring Kofi Mole. Yeah, I want all SM. SM, go and stream the song. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can insult my mothers and all that. <laughs> After that, move on streaming. You know. yeah. Yeah, me, we are moving streaming. Ah, <laughs> real, real. <laughs> That's real. Um, I, 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 I wanted to say a belated happy birthday you. to. Wait, wait, wait. The person wants hey, to ask all the time. Kick. It's <laughs> not me, oh. Me, I respond to my DM. So when they DM me, I have to. Unless it's me. I'm a seven. I'm the people's seven. The people's I people. I can reply after two. Okay, so you are telling me something. Calm down. I just want to say happy birthday. Um, belated happy birthday to Floyd's Graham. That's his name. He says he watches us all the time. So yeah, happy birthday to him. That's well, what I wanted to say. Uh, happy birthday <laughs> to everyone. <laughs> 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 happy birthday to everyone. <laughs> 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 Get out of here. You. Catch you same time tomorrow on Culture Daily. We are. <laughs>